How to test a temperature sensor with a multimeter. Your vehicle's temperature sensor is an important component of your engine's cooling system. So if you're having problems with your car or truck overheating, you may have a faulty sensor. Luckily, replacing a temperature sensor is as simple as plugging in a new one. However, you should test your sensor first to make sure that's where the problem lies and you don't have a deeper issue that needs to be repaired. With your handy multimeter, you can easily take a few readings that will tell you if your sensor is functioning properly. Welcome to our YouTube channel, Auto V Fix. We bring you exciting topics about automobiles and provide clear explanations of car-related issues and essential components. We share helpful and professional tips to help maintain your vehicle. Keep watching to learn how to test a temperature sensor with a multimeter. Connecting to the temperature sensor. Place your vehicle in park, turn off the engine and pop the hood. Put your vehicle in park so it's stable and won't roll and take the key out of the ignition so you won't accidentally shock yourself. Open up your hood so you're able to access your engine compartment and make sure it stays open. Locate your temperature sensor next to your thermostat. Follow your upper radiator hose towards the engine. At the end of the hose is the thermostat housing. Attached to the thermostat or installed right next to it is the temperature sensor, which looks like a small, black device plugged into a wire harness. Unplug the sensor and remove it from the vehicle. Use one hand to hold the wire harness and your other hand to pull on the body of the sensor. Gently slide it out of the harness so you don't damage any of the wiring and place the sensor on a flat working surface like a desk or table. Attach the multimeter to the outer connectors on the sensor. On the plug end of the temperature sensor are three connectors that look like metal prongs. Take your red lead and clip it to one of the connectors on the far right or far left. Then, clip your black lead to the connector on the far side across from your red lead so they aren't touching each other. Taking hot and cold readings. Fill a cup or small container with ice and water. Take a clean cup and fill it with about six fluid ounces of clean water and add a few ice cubes to bring down the temperature. Wait a few minutes to allow the ice to chill down the water. Use a thermometer to make sure the water is 33 degrees, one degree C. After a few minutes, use a digital or analog thermometer to take a temperature reading of the water. If the water is around 33 degrees, one degree C, then you're good to go. If not, Wait another 2-3 minutes to allow the ice to cool down further, then take another reading. Turn on your multimeter and set it to DC. With your temperature sensor still attached to the multimeter, press the power button to activate it. Locate the DC setting on the dial of the sensor and turn the dial to select it, or select the DC setting if your multimeter doesn't have a manual dial. Submerge the sensor in the waiter and take a reading. Gently lower the end of the sensor into the water until the entire device is fully submerged. Wait a minute or so for the screen to give you a reading of the cold water. Once you have a reading, write down the measurement for reference. Move the sensor to a cup of boiling water and take another reading. Heat up roughly six fluid ounces, 180 millibars of water in a kettle or in a pot on the stove until it's boiling. Then pour the water into a mug or container. Submerge your temperature sensor in the hot water and wait a few seconds to let your multimeter take a reading. Write down your reading so you can easily reference it. Compare your readings to the correct readings for your vehicle. Every make and model uses a specific temperature sensor, which will give you specific readings whenever you test them with a multimeter. Look online for the hot and cold readings of your vehicle's temperature sensor, or check the car's manual, and compare your readings to see if they closely match. If they do, your sensor is functioning properly and you may have an issue elsewhere. If not, you'll need to replace your sensor. And that's a wrap on how to test a temperature sensor with a multimeter. If you found these tips helpful, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe for more DIY automotive content, and hit that notification bell. Drop your comments below if there's a specific topic you'd like us to cover. Until next time, stay safe and happy driving.